Okay. People, please understand the information in its entirety before you go making a post. Reading is fundamental. The question is, is there any way to beat Saitama? And if so, what would it take for an opponent to achieve victory over him? Since in OP Inverse, you can change the history or future by affecting past. Instead of creating parallel world timelines, you can just time travel and beat Saitama before he starts training or when he is still a baby. And then you get into the comment section. After I debunk this nonsense real quick, I just go ahead and scroll down through the comment section because it's just people who don't know what they're talking about. But if y'all want to pause the video and read their comments, y'all can go ahead. Geno's explanation literally says right here, it's merely a hypothesis, which isn't actually a hypothesis because we've seen what Saitama actually freaking did. So it's not a hypothesis. Geno's description fits what Saitama literally did. So for the people that ask going, oh, it's just a hypothesis. <sighs> Do y'all not pay attention to any goddamn thing? All right, let's go ahead. It's merely a hypothesis based on the so-called parallel world or multiverse theory. You know, it's funny how it says since in OP verse, you could change the history of future by affecting past instead of creating parallel world timeline. Dude. That that that's what going back in time does in One Punch Man. You you create a parallel world timeline when you time travel. You you can't merely just go back in time one shot of Saitama because the moment you go back in time in One Punch Man, you're branching off to a separate timeline. But let's keep on reading. On the so-called parallel world or multiverse theory. But I suspect that this core came from one of the countless parallel worlds that diverge as a result of your actions. I do not know at what point this divergence occurs. When the observer makes a decision or when the observer takes action. But it has been confirmed that a new you separated from the original you at the start of your time travel and merge with the you of this timeline when the moment was completed. The timing of the separation and merging may be a clue to the timing of when the parallel worlds split off. It literally says that. Like, come on. All you have all you people have to do is read, but y'all be so quick to to answer a post that y'all y'all come on dog going back in time is simply going to branch you off to a different timeline so if you go back in time in one punch man world and you strike saitama down as a baby you're not getting you're not doing anything to the saitama that you were currently facing at that point in time, you simply went off to branched off to a different timeline by going back in time in One Punch Man, meaning going back in time and offing any opponent in One Punch Man, you're simply going to be offing the opponent off in that timeline. That that is all. You're not going to be offing the 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 Saitama that we know today. It's Come on, fact check yourself before you um make these things. And of course, we got in the comment section. I'll go ahead and let y'all read through this because I'm not wasting my time reading it. it is, I want this to be a quick video. Go ahead and stroll down. They argued for a good little minute. But let me know what y'all think in the um, comment section.
man, it feels good not sitting down and just reading all this shit. I read through some of it, but not all of it. I'll probably come back later and read through it, but I'm not making a video about it. Fuck that. God damn. Okay. 